Nadia, let's talk about the allocation health error node setting does not match index setting. Um, under cluster allocation explain, this comes up as the main example for conflict settings, um, where it just says Elasticsearch isn't allowed to allocate, meaning a setting or config issue. Um, and then somewhere under there, uh, under the node allocation decisions, it's going to tell us an example of why. OK, so today we're going to use an 8.15 cluster. Um, this cluster is set up with some node attributes, like data is set to hot or data is set to warm. Um, so we have that in our cluster. Currently, the cluster is healthy uh, because we have a cat shards marshmallow. Uh, we have an index called marshmallow. So for our purposes today, we're going to demonstrate two common situations that allocation uh, error comes up. Um, both of these coincidentally flag under ILM or, but are not caused by ILM. So the first example is going to be something that comes up from ILM um, doing the shrink action or just from the shrink API. Uh, so what ends up happening is the shrink API will set the uh, flag of required ID, and then it'll give a node ID. So no node ID is going to be ASDF. So I'm just going to set that it is ASDF. I'm going to close, reopen the index. And now when we go run cluster health, we're going to be status yellow because our replica is not assigning. And cluster allocation explain um, is going to tell us the index reopened, no attempt, because it's being told that it's not allowed to from a cluster uh, configure setting. And here we see, like, you set that ID, I, ASDF is required. And then the node up here, node ID, like, Node IDs are normally however many characters, not four characters long. So none of the node IDs in that list are going to satisfy that uh, requirement. Frequently, what you'll end up seeing is um, when you did a shrink, maybe it's just historical noise, and that node is no longer in the cluster. In that situation, same as in my situation, you're just going to set it to null and let things proceed. Um, if the shrink was actively still progressing, you potentially would update this instead to a node currently existing in cluster that the index is otherwise eligible to sit on. Um, but for our purposes, we can just set it to null. Um, perfect. So the second example we want to demonstrate today, again, surfaces um, under ILM, but it's not necessarily caused by ILM. So historically, especially like pre-7.10 clusters, uh, users migrated indices um, across hardware temperatures manually with that node logical attribute awareness settings. Uh, and so it's possible, like as ILM and node roles started doing that for you in a more automated fashion, you potentially can end up with a conflation of those two settings um, where they don't agree where things currently should be, and therefore the index is caught in a catch-22, uh, and it won't end up going anywhere. So for our purposes, we're going to create an ILM policy that says, like, we're going to apply to an existing index in hot, and we're going to send it to warm. So our index, uh, we're going to tell it, like, you think you want to be on data hot. And then that lifecycle policy, toasted s'mores, does say um, implicit uh, move at zero milliseconds. The ILM policy thinks that that index wants to be on warm. So when we run ILM explain against it, ILM is going to be kicking off an asynchronous action for uh, migration and check migration. And so the message just generically tells you, like, I'm waiting for it to migrate, but I, I don't even know if anything's wrong. All I know is that I'm waiting. Uh, the health API eventually will tell you, like, this has been taking a bit. Maybe you should go check on it. But it's not technically an error. Uh, and so over here, if we go and run our cluster allocation explain, it's going to tell us, hey, your status screen, there's nothing to necessarily be concerned about. If you want to go check something, you need to actually say directly what you want to check. So we're going to go check that replica shard for our purposes. And over here, sorry, I scrolled. Um, over here, it tells us like the shard is started. So the cluster is still highly available. Everything's going fine. Um, however, can remain on current node is set to no. And then the reason um, for why it cannot remain on the current data tier is because it would prefer to move to warm. And the current node, which is hot, um, 
is, is not warm. So it wants to move off. So usually at this point, we'd say whomever is data warm, let's go down and see why it won't move um, over here. And here we say it doesn't match that setting hot that is catching the index um, on that higher data temperature. So in this particular circumstance, like majority of situations raised to support its uh, historical clutter from that migration of moving from node roles over to uh, ILM. Uh, it obviously is possible in any circumstance that you're using node attribute awareness, but for our purposes and most customers, you can just set that data or whatever you've called this field to null. Uh, and then at that point, that should have migrated pretty fast. Oh, I bet I probably don't have a warm tier, which induces a great next one to investigate. Okay, so. I only have one warm node, so that's never going to migrate. Um, and so let's just do put marshmallow settings index number of replicas. So obviously, in production, we don't recommend disabling replicas for my test. It's just to demonstrate that we can get that ILM into warm, complete, complete. And so at this point, um, again, the cluster is going to be status green that entire time, uh, but now we no longer have a held up uh, migration. And so data is going to be flowing from hot to warm as we hope and expect. So all of this to say, this is how you recover that setting. Node uh, does not match the index setting being requested. Awesome. Thanks all.